Hello everybody, welcome back to my vlog. It's your boy Gio, vlog number three. I'm about 24 hours away from having my procedure done. That's uh, the endoscopy, where the camera goes down my throat, all the way down, checking my esophagus, my stomach, um, basically to check for any ulcers, any tumors, any blockage, anything that's the problem that could be causing the symptoms that I talked about in the last vlog. Um, so today basically I've been uh, tying up loose ends, making my will out, <laughs> no I'm just kidding, no just uh, relaxing really, I mean I went to the store, got a couple things that I needed for tomorrow. Um, my procedure is at 12.45 p.m. which sucks because I can't eat or drink anything uh, the whole day until after my procedure is done, which kind of sucks because I get dry mouth a lot early in the morning. So that's going to be, sorry about the AC in the background, so that's going to be kind of crappy for me, but you know, whatever, I'll get through it. Um, that's about it, I've just been walking around outside, you know, I like uh, doing my little walks since I've basically quit smoking about two months ago and I lost all this weight. I actually feel better as body wise than I did when I was almost 300 pounds if it wasn't for the tightness in my chest and the inability to eat I'd feel like I was a hundred percent new person but hopefully we get that fixed tomorrow so this is just basically 24 hours beforehand got a couple more things I have to do before I get over there and uh, oh look it's my little friend little peacock He's always by the house. He always comes by when I'm walking back here and he'll follow me sometimes, walk behind me. Then when I turn around and look at him, he looks back at me like, if you come any closer, I'm running. So I just keep my distance. I want to scare him away. But he's like my little walking buddy when I walk in between my house and the little woods I have back here. I made my own trail basically. But yeah, so we'll pick it up tomorrow uh, before I get there, while I'm getting there and walking in. Uh, I asked if I could take the camera in there and they said no, so unfortunately I won't have any good vlog footage of inside getting my procedure done, but you'll see me going in and you'll see me coming out. Until then, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one. And that's my dad walking back. Yeah, that's your dad walking to the car. <laughs> How you doing? Huh? I'm gonna go sleep. Okay, good to see you. Say hi, Dad. I'm done and out. <laughs> well, I'm out. <laughs> Um, I just got back home from uh, the procedure. I'm still a little woozy, drowsy. Probably gonna hop in bed and take a nap. But um, it was quick. I mean, it took longer for them to prep me than it did for the whole procedure, it seems like. Um, that was a long damn too. It's a meter long, three feet long. Holy shit, if I was awake, I would have never went even a quarter of an inch in my throat. I would have been gagging on it. 
But um, they took, a, I don't know, they said uh, six to eight biopsies from my esophagus all the way down into my stomach, down to my large intestines. Um, I'll find out in about a week, week and a half if it's uh, anything in there bacteria wise or whatever. Um, for now I'm just tired and I'm ready to go back to sleep so um, I'll get back with you guys in a little bit. Uh, we're going back night night. <laughs> Welcome back. I just woke up after a little nap I took after after my procedure so they didn't find any tumors like I said I, they didn't find any tumors they didn't find any growth or anything um, they did take a couple biopsy spots uh, for my esophagus my stomach and my large intestines uh, to see if there's any bacterial infection or anything else inside of there um, if there is then I'll go on medication and should be back to normal within a few weeks uh, but right now, I guess it's just a uh, waiting game. Results will be another week or so. So I just basically have to keep doing what I'm doing. Uh, limit myself on what I try to eat. And just uh, take it smooth. Take it smooth for the next week, week and a half. Uh, I, I did feel, I mean, I felt good after I woke up from the procedure. I still feel pretty decent now just uh still a little woozy I, I took a nap but you know it still hits you after a little bit so but that's it for this one vlog number three done anoscopy done now it's time to get on the road to recovery thank you for being with me on this journey thank you for the love and support and like always if you like what you saw please like and subscribe because there will be more Hopefully the next ones will be more funnier, lighthearted. We will see.